Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys have been doing great. I'm your host, Steve Machine, and welcome to another awesome gear review. Today, this is really cool. We're, um, I, you know, I love the 80s. I love the 80s. I love, you know, Vito Brada, Eddie Van Halen, you know, bands like Quiet Riot, and just the list goes on with Skid Row and everything else that sort of came out. And uh, one of the biggest, coolest things with me growing up is watching all those guitar magazines or like Krang magazine and heavy metal stuff, and then the guys have their fucking, you know, they've got their guitars with the airbrush stuff on it. Warrant was a really big influence when it came to like, just cool graphics on guitars. Nonetheless, it was just, it was awesome to see that stuff, and you know, we all, you know, how much money can I save up to get a guitar and stuff, and it was always out of our reach and stuff, so. Um, the cool thing with us getting older, those who grew up in that era, is the guitars are coming back out again. And we've got jobs. Most of us have jobs. And, you know, so now I was like, yeah, I can get that Kramer I always wanted or, or whatever, whatnot. And with Kramer, uh, a pinnacle point in the 80s rock metal, um, they're back again, right? Over the last couple of years, they've come back. And then guys like Eddie Van Halen have just, you know, proportioned it to an awesome, awesome array of guitar work that's been coming out. And the quality is just fantastic. None, none part of the 80s, which is still cool. But the craftsmanship is awesome and the durability and everything else. And they're not as expensive within our price range. Um, with that being said, the Beretta, right? Um, Dave the Snake Sobo, uh, Sobo is one of the ones that I remember using it a lot. And apart from Andy, of course. Um, here it is, right? So the, the coolness factor is pretty much is right there. You can't get any simpler than that. Um, the really cool thing about this is the affordability, the playability of it. Um, and it just, it looks cool, right? I mean, it looks awesome. So this is the Kramer Beretta Special, you know, made famous with the, you know, the, the tilted pickup and everything else. Um, the, the, the neck feels wicked. It's nice and it's a speed neck. It feels nice. 12 inch radius contour. Um, and just the bare bones and simplicity of it. Just one volume knob and that's it. And you're off to the rock show kind of thing. So... Um, to dwell into this thing, we've got a mahogany body, maple neck, rosewood fingerboard, you know, and the cool, what do they call, some people call it the hockey, the hockey stick, whatever, um, neck, but I don't know, I think, I think it's really cool. It is definitely uh, awesome. 12-inch um, radius on the neck, like I mentioned, and with the vintage tremolo, it's uh, it sets it apart from the rest because it's just it's so simple. So if you're in that kind of glam music and rock bands and stuff, and coming up today, all you newer generations, this is the shit. This is the guitar you want to get um, for that simplicity of just straightforward rock. Uh, I'll Nico V um, Zebra humbucker on a little bit of an offset tilt, as you can see, and one volume. So not a split coil. So like the last video, I checked. So it ain't it. But um, yeah, it's just, it, it's shred factor. I mean, it's cool, it's really cool. So let's delve into this and um, see where we go with it. All right, guys? So let us do this. <laughs> That's it. That's that's it right there. So, um, like further ado, let's throw some drums on this bad boy and see what we come up with. And uh, FYI, I'm just running straight to my AVH, a little bit of wah, and uh, that's it. All right. So simple, simple, simple.
Here we go. check out the 2021 calendar um, for when new stuff's coming out. They've got tons of cool stuff. I know there's no NAM this year uh, being 2021, but um, they've got a lot of stuff coming down the pipeline. Go check out their website. Stuff's already out. Contact your local uh, Long & McQuaid store, which is this is from Abbotsford. Thanks to all the boys out there. You guys are awesome. So do make your way down to Abbotsford and check out the Long & McQuaid store or any Long & McQuaid in B.C., in the States, you got Guitar Center and Sam Ash and all those other cool places. So do check them out. Um, I do recommend this. And it, you know what? It's affordability. This is $240 in Canada. So the State's probably like $200 or $190. Bucks. But I mean, for the craftsmanship you're getting for this for $250, bucks, it's a great starter guitar. An awesome, affordable starter guitar for anybody. So, And it doesn't really honestly lose the value. So you sell it seven, eight months later, you still get $250 for it or whatever, whatnot. Providing it's in good condition, you haven't thrashed on it. Um, yeah, I mean, what else can I add for it? This is just, you know, this is just bare bones. Bare bones, simplicity, straightforward rock. You can't get any better than this. Um, like I said, Abbotsford, Long McQuaid, go check them out. And for all you new subscribers, I really appreciate you guys watching this. And all my old subscribers, thank you for support. Fucking love you, buddy. 
And uh, yeah, subscribe down below if you're first time here and hit the thumb and hit the bell because that way you'll know everything that I'm doing that's coming down the pipeline and stuff like that. So yeah, there you go. Keeping the shred alive. I have been Steve. You guys have been great. Thanks for watching another review. And uh, I'll be back with more. Don't worry, man. Yeah.